Captain Sir Tom Moore has been an army officer, a successful businessman, a chart-topping singer, and, of course, a champion NHS fundraiser during his 100 years of age. Now he can add another occupation to that impressive CV, artist muse. Hundreds of people have felt inspired to paint pictures of Sir Tom, and before they're auctioned off for charity, he's been casting his eye over them with the help of our arts correspondent, David Silito. I was absolutely overwhelmed by the, the uh, so many of them and such good quality. People put such a, a great effort into producing them. Captain Tom. His famous walk in his back garden during lockdown didn't just raise tens of millions for NHS charities. It was, for many of us, a moment of inspiration. This is my painting of Captain Tom um, that I did during lockdown. The last time I painted a portrait was back in 2014, and that was of my grandpa, my grandpa Sid, and um, he passed away last year, aged 100, um, and he was just the most kind, docile, loving man, and um, I didn't think I would paint again after he passed away. Um, but seeing Captain Tom, he just reminded me so much of my grandpa, <laughs> everything from the glint in his eye to um, his cheeky sense of humour and it just compelled me to, to pick up a paintbrush again. Justine's painting is just one of more than a hundred artworks now going up for auction. There are paintings, cartoons, and this etched in a 100-year-old door. What inspired you to do it? I think everybody was kind of taken back with the story. I think it had such genuine and sort of humble beginnings and then just sort of because of that I think people just responded to it and then it just became this kind of juggernaut colossus thing that just kept going so yeah I think I was just kind of taken away with that as well. Jamie is a professional artist but some are at a slightly earlier stage in their artistic careers. Arana is 10. I was inspired by what Captain like, Tom Moore was doing for the NHS, so I thought it would be nice to make him a card from scratch for his 100th. And now it's up for sale, you realise you're a professional artist now? Uh, like, I just like, can't believe it. I, I, I think this is the beginning of your artistic career, isn't it? <laughs> Arana's work is now here on display at Sorders in London. Of course, one person hasn't had a chance to see the exhibition, Captain Tom. Would you like to have a little tour of the gallery? Would you like to have a tour of the gallery? Yes, please. Yes, please. And so I took him on a little virtual tour. It's amazing. This one that's made up. This oh, one's coffee. Made coffee, isn't yeah. it? That's coffee. I, I have to be really honest. I nearly kept it and put money in the foundation myself, but I had to let it go. It's, it's amazing. The auction will help raise a little more money for the Captain Tom Foundation, but it's also been a chance for a little group of artists to share their lockdown creativity. Hopefully, we can raise some money from it, but. Um, the fact that I'm here sitting now in a gallery, um, this is everything I could have ever wanted. David Solito, BBC News. There are some very talented people out oh, there. Oh, they just... I love that one, the, my favourite one, when you just saw the camera go along the line, you know, that traditional image of lest we forget, and then uh, Tom Moore's uh, at the very end with his walker, his stroller. Really nice really to see. Really lovely. 6.27 is the time now.